I love Ghana. Flowers, the fauna, the flora. It is a beautiful country. I don't see myself going back to the United States and living there. Um, it's taken some time, but I kind of consider Ghana my home now. Security is uh, very good, and uh, I, I like it here because it's a wonderful place to rear children. The people are an amazing people, peaceful, and I've, I've been to most West African countries and can tell you that the spirit of Ghana is a very, very unique spirit. Education-wise, it's been excellent for my children to grow up in Ghana. Ghana is full of opportunities. Welcome to the African American Association of Ghana. Welcome to Ghana, the gateway of Africa. Welcome to our family. I've uh, been in Ghana for about five years, actually now going on six. I've now been here for a good 13 years. I've lived here for five years now. I've been living in Ghana since 1962. I've been in Ghana 21 years. I've been living in Ghana for 47 years. I've been in Ghana for 51 years. The African American Association of Ghana is, is truly an opportunity for people to acclimate themselves into the African fabric or the Ghanaian culture with someone to talk to who's gone through it and has experienced uh, the things that you might not understand. The reason Triple AG was established was so that we could be of help to each other and especially for new people who are coming into Ghana. It was very important to most of us and this was one way we could get together and communicate. So we have people that come and say, oh, I've been in America so long and help me get back to my own country. <laughs> and somebody's like, we've been here, we're here for you. Being at Triple AG helps you to understand how to navigate the waters, how, how to modify, how to work with, how to support each other as African Americans in Ghana, and how to integrate into the Ghanaian society as the stakeholders that we are. Up to date, we have a membership of over 100 people, and we do so much to support the African American community in Ghana. I came in, and it was the people in Triple AG that told me the do's and the don'ts, and came to check on me because I, I were, we, my husband, we were living in La Paz, and there were no telephones, and so they would drive down every week to check on me, and. I was an active member. I later became the president of Triple H. Ghana is still a great place for business opportunities if you're looking and you don't have to have a lot of money. I mean, we've had as many as um, 100 employees. I decided to go into baking and because I remembered I could bake. Now I have 40 employees. So we've had some good experiences with business because um, some people might remember the shoes that they called, I think, Achimoda sandals. But when Mr. Dakuli designed the shoe, he called it boys and girls, which went very well. It was business that brought me here both times. First as a consultant to a major mining company and I then became a consultant to the Ministry of Mines and that continued for a number of years. I started out with the Mormons in Ghana. I had a short stint with Data Bank Ghana Limited. I've taught at a school and finally I've ended up at the University of Ghana working with international students. I'm currently the director of Webster University, which is an American university, it gives the opportunity to Ghanaians and West Africans, Sub-Saharan Africans, and people around the world to uh, have a U.S. accredited degree. I'm currently doing a Master's of Arts in Anthropology, and what I'm studying is African Americans' experience living in Ghana. What I love about Ghana is so much, particularly is the food. My favorite food is ground-up soup and a mutuo. If you give that to me, I will smile, Papa. My favorite Ghanaian dish is banku and tilapia with the pepper sauce that they make. I also love apra prensa. People can't believe that, but I do <laughs> enjoy it. When your children grow up here, they feel the sky is the limit because they don't 
feel that there's any drawback to them having dark skin because they see that the doctors are black, the lawyers are black, black, the teachers are black, the president is black, so they have a lot of confidence in themselves. Moving your child here, you give your child the opportunity to be a global citizen. And that is something that no one, no one can ever take from him. My experience in Ghana over the past 23 years has been fantastic. I've been received very well. I've been able to pursue all of my aspirations. Uh, there have been no impediments or obstacles. Life has been wonderful and uh, I couldn't have asked for anything better than this. I think in my time here, I've become a more down-to-earth person. I think living here in Ghana has taught me that. It has taught me patience. It has taught me understanding. It has taught me how to be more caring uh, towards others. And again, the humility piece, uh, I think sometimes we lose that in the West. We have opened up membership in the Triple AG. It's not only for African Americans. We want everybody, Ghanaians, Caribbeans, people from all other cultures to come and join us. They should come. Come with an open heart and an open mind and they will very well enjoy Ghana. It doesn't matter whether you're coming back to Ghana or whether you're going someplace else. We're here to kind of give you an opportunity to have your questions answered and have some, some, some orientation about what you need to do in order to come back uh, and be real here. I see the future with Triple G really going uh, forward. In fact, it seems like each time it's getting better and we're getting more members. I would tell anyone that has an interest in coming to the continent that Ghana should be a, a starting point uh, for a lot of different reasons. One, the language, and then two, there's an opportunity for them to do a little more research about culture, about uh, the nuances of Africa, that unless you take the time and you're sensitive enough to the